All right, guys, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here in Germany. It's about 10 degrees. It's nice and breezy, not too cold, not too warm. You can go out with just a jacket on and stuff like that. Perfect weather, and I thought I'd do a beer review. I just thought I would celebrate the good weather with a nice beer, or hopefully a nice beer. And today's beer is from the Hogsback Brewery in Tongham, Surrey. And it's a beer that they've brewed for Marks and Spencers. Um, with a beer like this, I don't know whether it is brewed exclusively just for Marks and Spencers, or if it's just a relabel of a beer that they do already. Or I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with these beers. But um, Marks and Spencers, um, I've said it a couple of times, really doing a great job um, in terms of showcasing craft beer, real ales, you can get all sorts of stuff, got some really interesting you know, beers from America, uh, some of them are like the you know the ones that you know already, but yeah, the prices as well, you can't beat it, and it's like I always say, it's always great to have a bottle shop that specializes in like craft beer, but not everybody has access to that, and some of you, you know, sometimes pay like 10 quid for like a fringe of vertical bottle just because it's a limited release, and yeah, I'm not really at that point where I want to make that investment. So when I'm going to like a supermarket, like, uh, well, it's not really a supermarket. It's a little bit, you know, up uh, scale. Is that the word? Up market. Um, but it's a whole lot better than seeking out a bottle shop and paying, you know, a little bit extra. But anyway, um, yeah, Marks and Spencers, probably the only reason why I go to Marks and Spencers when I'm back in England is just to see what beers they've got. And uh, yeah, this is one of the, they've got like a really nice label, labeling system for some of their beers that they've had exclusively done for them. And they've all got the same background and then they've got a nice design on there. And uh, yeah, it's a very pretty looking beer indeed. Nice and simple, but I really enjoy that artwork. Um, it's literally just a number five with a nice design around it. On the back, nothing simple, easy to read enough, and uh, yeah, nice little label on the neck telling you the brewery, and then it's just got a silver, simple, but nice bottle top. And uh, yeah, today's beer is the Five Hop Lager, coming in at 4.5%, like I said, from the um, Hogsback Brewery. Never had any of their beers, um, so really excited to try this one. I do like lagers, and I especially love hoppy lagers. Uh, like uh, Kievida's um, Prototype, phenomenal little beer, absolutely phenomenal, and uh, hopefully this will be up there with it. So, quickly just read you what it says on the back about this beer. As the name suggests, this is brewed with five different hops and matured for a month or more to let a full flavour and aroma develop and deepen. A perfect match for Thai food, or try it with a classic battered fish and chips. Um, if that's not going to sell you on a beer, I don't know what will. Um, so hopefully it lives up to what it says on the back. So um, yeah, let's get this beer open and poured. Nice little bit of smoke on there, not too much. I um, had this out of the fridge for about 10-20 minutes beforehand. Just going to use my small Spital glass. And uh, yeah, let's give this a pour. Now, Pouring exactly what you think a lager would pour like. A nice golden hay sort of colour. Nicely carbonated enough and it's got a nice little head. Well, well, it's not even a finger's worth now. It dissipated really nicely. Uh, really nice, clear, orangey, golden. Uh, can look, you see all those bubbles there? They're really, really nice. And uh, yeah, looks like what you expect. So on the sniff... Definitely picking up those classic lager smells, but they're offset with like a nice fruitiness, um, slightly tropical, slightly leafy as well, ever so slightly resinous. I'm getting like an orange in there, a lime juice, that sort of thing going on. But yeah, really nicely balanced with those lager malts. Uh, not too sure what hops they've actually used in this one. Doesn't actually say, which is a shame because I would have liked to have known what they use in this. Um, they also use like herb extract as well. And you are picking up the yeast. 
ever so slightly so it's got that real slight breadiness but it's got more of like that hoppy fruity sort of aroma and uh yeah looks good smells nice let's give it a taste cheers not gonna lie quite disappointed on the on the taste it's slightly watery as well it's like you've got like fizzy water and it's gone flat you're still getting that slight carbonated feel but it's not really too much yeah really really light body and um, flavor wise really not much going on it has to be said it's got like a very slight hot bitterness there ever so slight fruity notes as well but really if you were to just get a glass of this you wouldn't really think it's a hopped up lager it's not a bad drink by any stretch um, it's one of those beers that is so easy drinking, perfect for a nice sunny day, you know, perfect like lawn beer, you know, just to sit at the back, chill, get a few bottles of this one, just knock them back and enjoy yourself. And, um, but yeah, there's really not nothing else going on with this. Um, you are getting like that slight hoppiness there. You, you do get the impression that it is, you know, a little bit hoppier than, you know, your regular lagers. But I was expecting a lot more of this one, it has to be said. <laughs> Body's not really there. Doesn't really have any flavour. It's got a very dry finish, so you want to drink more. And it is easy drinking, it's very, very sessionable. And I think that's probably the best thing I can say about this beer. Is if you just want something to knock back but enjoy that actually has a little bit of flavor and not just like a, a bog standard macro lager then this is definitely a step up um this is a perfect beer it's a perfect transitional beer if you can't really be bothered like investigating real ales and craft beer too much but you want to get away from stuff like carling and that sort of thing this is a good step up um, but if you are a hop head, if you are a craft beer lover and you want to try a hopped up lager, there are better ones to go for. So this is more for the people who are really starting to get into this world of craft beer and real ales. Uh, so in that regard, it might get a point or so for that. But then again, that's really, I don't know if that's the intention with this beer. Um, so I think to be fair, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. It's better than an average lager, but it could have been so much more. It promises so much more than it actually delivers. And that's a real shame, because this could have been an absolutely perfect beer for today. But 6 out of 10, uh, definitely worth checking it out, um, especially with the other beers in that range. You could get yourself, you know, make yourself a little six pack, because they're like about £2 each. So for the price I paid for it, not going to complain too much, but could just be a little bit more. Um, and yeah, so the Hogsback Breweries 5 Hop Lager, there's a hell of a lot better out there, but if you're getting into this sort of stuff, give this one a try, and give it a try anyway, you've got to try every beer, if you, you, you're a beer reviewer, if you like this world, <laughs> you know, you've got to give beers a try, but um, yeah, don't go out of your way to try this one just yet. So that's my review of the 5 Hop Lager from Hogsback, brewed for Marks and Spencers. If you've tried this beer, let me know your thoughts and opinions. What have I missed? Have I completely you know, missed the point with this beer, or was I right with this one? Uh, what beers do you like that have been brewed for Marks and Spencers? What's your favourite Hogsback's beer? Um, I'm talking gibberish now because I'm really rushing this part of the video. Uh, check out my other lager reviews down below. Subscribe to The Clueless Drinker. Uh, channel as well and of course check out Hogsback Brewery because there might be beers there that could be right up your alley and who knows this could be one of your favorite beers who am I to judge completely subjective anyway guys enjoy the good weather even though by the time you're watching this it's probably raining again and uh, yeah thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next beer review cheers <laughs>